Now, even though the Chinese trade surplus widened in the month of June, this shouldn't hide the fact that it's another sign of the world's second largest economy is beginning to fade. Uh, China trade missing forecasts of both imports and exports. And in fact, it was a big move lower and a big surprise for the markets as well. Imports falling 6.8% in June compared to this time last year. Economists anticipate a smaller drop of 4.1%. Exports also falling by a margin of 12.8%, also more than the 10% expected. To find a higher drop, we have to go back to February 2020, when China exports came in virtually to a halt. Uh, China's export slump comes as sluggish overseas economies struggle with inflation and rising interest rates and buy up fewer goods uh, from China factories. Uh, if we look at what's been happening on the uh, Chinese yuan, this is the dollar first against the Chinese yuan. We've seen the dollar falling recently against a whole basket of currencies, and that's exactly what's happened. But look at what's gone on today. The dollar is up. One of the few moves up for the dollar in today's trade against that weaker CNH. Now, Chinese factory activity has been shrinking in recent months, and policymakers are now reckoning with the prospect of prolonged slower growth in the world's second largest economy, just around about 3% annually, way below the 5% that had been anticipated. Now, this rise that we've seen, in fact, we've got to go back to the bottom of this chart here, where in January, uh, we hit a low uh, for the dollar against the Chinese yuan on expectations things would begin to pick up as China came out of the COVID-19 lockdowns. But since then, it's really been a dollar story. Uh, only recently has the dollar pulled back. Um, now, 3% is less than half the rates typical throughout these recent decades for Chinese growth and creates the a feel of an economy in recession. It's not in recession, but nonetheless, it feels like that compared to recent activity.